Good morning, everybody. How's everybody's morning? Um, I wanted to show you a few things that I got over the weekend. I kind of goofed. I was in a hurry to flip some items and to make some money. And I um, also have some camera issues with the new phone. I'm noticing that when I took a video yesterday and I look back, when I think it's filming, I mean, it even looks like it's doing the video because the little red light is flashing. <coughs> but it's not actually taking a video. I had gone on a dumpster dive in another town. And I had gotten a major score. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've got this on video because, you know, where it was... It was in the dash of my car, in the holder, on the windshield. And you can see what I thought. <laughs> I thought it picked me up. Um, I thought I had the video. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I went to upload it. So you had that to watch yesterday. Went through my phone. Went through, went through. Looked and looked. The video's gone. It is not there. It was a major score. Of course, you know, I took the photos of all the clothing I got. It was not slashed. Um, it was not like Michael's or, or whatever the other clothing store is called. We have a clothing store here that's kind of sort of on the lines of a Burlington, but it's not. went to look for the video to put it up yesterday, and the video's not there. And, of course, neither are the pictures of what I sold. I am so sorry. I have to double-check my new phone every time I use it now. Because yesterday I lost a lot of footage that I thought I had of a vacant old, old hotel. The footage just is not there. In the middle of the footage, it's like it went, and you'll see it because the video is going up now. You'll, you'll have already seen it. In the middle of the footage, you can see where it suddenly stops recording. And then later on, picks back up and starts recording again. And what it recorded was me just walking around with a phone angled at the ground. Like, y'all wanted to see the gravel, the grass, you know, my feet. But the whole footage of the, the beautiful old vacant hotel is gone. And never, it's like it decided, up. Oh, we're not going to watch this. Don't want to film it. And quit filming in the middle of it. And I thought it was filming because a little red light was going on. Enough talk. I did go to a thrift store. I'll show you that. And if any of you are crafters or like to fish, let me turn on my big light. Hold on. For all my crafters out there, if you go to a yard sale and you find... Any unused fishing tackle boxes like this, oh my lord, and I only paid two bucks, and it's Shakespeare, and it has never been used, it is brand new, this thing is huge, this was probably 20 bucks at like Walmart or wherever, these are expensive and it's heavy, so this would be a great one for me to put stuff in if I have to, you know, take it with me somewhere, so... I don't know if I'm going to use it for fishing or crafting, but that is so cool. So I got that for $2. I was shocked. And that was at a thrift store. And I also got four packages of these little bows for $0.75 cents a package. So that was good, and they're all brand new. So I'm going to send a couple of these packages to Karen, White Witch 110. Um, it'll be in her package that's going to head to her. Um, I went to a yard sale, and I haven't opened these yet. Let me open these things and see what they are. Okay, I paid $5 for a box of 10. I don't know if you can read that. box of 10 with the light sticks. Not little glow sticks, the actual light sticks. I should have gotten more, but I do know the lady that has this. She runs our um, Bates County Bidit site. I can actually reach out to her and get more if she still has them. 
But that is a really good buy. A very good buy. And she had many, many, many boxes of these. So that was excellent. That was that yard sale. I went to another yard sale and I got towels. And I was thinking, you know, I wasn't really going to use these for myself. But it's always nice to have towels to clean up things and stuff like that. But I opened these up. There's two big towels, a hand, well, hand towel and a washcloth. And I was like, you can't even, well, you could tell they were used, but they're not stained or dirty. So I guess I'll throw these in the wash with some bleach and wash them up. And I'm going to go ahead and use them after all. And I also got this case. Now it says it is, um, I thought it was to keep something hot or cold. Access to accessories. And it's got an 800 number. Look at the inside of this, guys. Okay. It has this, but it's gold inside. And this opens up. You see all these flaps? All right. They have, like, zippers. At first, I was thinking, and this is hard. This has got, like, cardboard or something in there, like a hard piece of board. And this sets like this inside of here over top of whatever's supposed to be in here. She said she got it as a Christmas gift and never used it. It doesn't look used. It is quite large, has a nice big handle, and has a mesh pocket here. I'm not sure exactly what it is yet. I have not looked it up. Um, I went to another yard sale, and I got me this. I so need this for my car. It does work. Um, I plugged it in. It is complete. I put everything back in here. It's got all the stuff. And the little vacuum is down in there. I so need this for my car. <laughs> Anyways, I paid $3 for this. And it's like new. They didn't really use it. And I think that's all the yard sale stuff that I have. But I went to what's called the trade fair. And I had to go back the second day I went to Harrisonville because I had to buy more. I love crystals and I love, um, one of the things I want to do this summer is to go jamming. I have not <coughs> been able to go yet. And maybe this summer I'll have enough money to where I want to go. This one person is always selling um, different kinds of crystals and things. And this is, let me take the sticker off. This is a geode, okay? And some of them have holes in them. You can see inside. And I have already broken one open because I gave, well, I actually gave two away as a gift. And it takes a heck of a whack to open these. And they are gorgeous inside. Very bright and shiny. Okay. Um, there is a river here in Missouri that you can go um, along the river and pick up these on the bank. These say they're from Morocco. And I paid $4.25 for these big ones. I do have a smaller one that I paid $3 for. Plus, they also had, and I gave somebody a couple of these already, the smaller ones. I got a baggie of these for $3.69. Um, I have a bunch of these that I bought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven of these. One of these I'm keeping to give away eventually as a gift. So I'm going to be opening six of these um, as a video. And then I'm going to also be giving away parts of these as gifts as I go along, the geodes. So there's going to be a whole one that will be eventually given away um, 
on one of my videos. Plus, we will be giving away broken open geodes. So that's something special that I'm going to be doing to my ch on my channel. Okay, there's a couple things I forgot to show you. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Is this butterfly it is carved into... I can't remember. It doesn't say the stone. It just says animal necklace. It is carved into a stone. Um, that is very pretty. But it's on um, a cord instead of something else. And then there's this necklace. It is very pretty. Um, they're very um, inexpensive. Nothing extravagant. It does have a chain with it. Um, it's not a very expensive chain. These didn't cost me much. It's something I'll also use. Um, I'm thinking about picking up another one of these so I could use it as a giveaway. And um, more of these because they really weren't very expensive. Yeah, $3.99 for the, that one. And I think this one was, nope, this one was only $3.50. So these are little things that I'm thinking of picking up to use for... Um, giveaways as I go along kind of have little items like these to use so my phone will focus there we go little giveaways to use as we go along but yes I have a whole pile of them the other thing I got I went to Walmart and got me um, another one of these it was like five something um, this is just a cheaper version of the one I've got. I had one of these before. These up here, they're not as sturdy as the one I'm using now, but it's going to be kind of nice to have a second one. So that's kind of cool. And then I went back to the Dollar Tree real quick to get more of these, the butterflies. I got the last of the purple that they had. They only had two more purple left. I picked up the last of those. And I picked up, or was it the last? I think I picked up the last of these. There was three of these, and then I picked up two more purple. Or was it the last of all of them? I might have picked up the last of all of them. But I got more of the um, butterfly flowers. I'm going to be sending Karen some of those also. And then I picked up a movie. They were finally able to get to the movies. This is Scooby-Doo and Kiss. I've never seen this. So, I have a movie. I'm going to have to watch this. And I will do a movie review on this. Because I have not seen this. It says, turn up the volume of Scooby-Doo and Kiss. Get ready to rock Scooby-Doo and Mystery Inc. Gang, team up with the one and only Kiss in this all-new out-of-the-world adventure. And it is, I don't know, is this a half an hour or an hour? Um, it says it's widescreen format, original version, um, 79 minutes. So it's a full movie. So if your Dollar Tree has movies, you might want to look for this in there. So I'm going to be watching that. And that is my little haul I wanted to show you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have been super busy. I have been swamped. I am so tired. Um, and I hope I'm going to make it to uh, Kansas to do my um, haunted hotel. I will let everybody know um, in another video if I go. Um it's kind of like I don't like to spend money. Um, I do have money left over. I didn't, uh, you know, spend all my money kind of thing. I do have money left over, so. <coughs> it's that, <coughs> you know, a night in a hotel, the cost of going, the cost of my food while I'm out there, that kind of thing. Um, kind of worries me because I'm looking at spending hundred and twenty five to a hundred and fifty dollars if I go and I keep thinking that's money I could spend elsewhere that and I've been trying to save up to get my dentures and I know people 
has left some nasty comments, and I've deleted them. Um, my health is what it is, and my medication is what it is, and I had a dentist that was working with me, and then threw a fit, um, because I had to cancel one of my appointments, because I was having, um, a lot of heart palpitations and passing out, and my heart doctor said, you're done, no more, don't, don't let them work on your teeth anymore, we need to figure out why your blood pressure is dropping, why you're passing out, and what the heart palpitations are caused by. Well, a year and a half later, you know, they finally figured it out. It's one of my medications that was causing it. So, lowered that medication, and I'm fine. But they left me with just four teeth on the top, which my medications are destroying rapidly, and there's nothing I can do about it, and I can't apologize um, really, I can't apologize for that, but my dentist will not see me because I canceled an appointment. So I'm being penalized for canceling an appointment and they will not see me and they're the only dentist around that takes Medicaid. So that's how that goes. And honestly, I cannot afford hundred and some dollars to have teeth pulled until I have my whole money for my upper dentures. Once I have that, and then it'll be done. So it's that's a lot of money, guys. That's a lot of money. So I do want to kind of have a vacation and have some fun for myself. But, you know, I don't know. I want to do something for me once, and I don't know. We'll see. Everybody have a wonderful day. Take care. And I will talk to everybody later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.